All right, guys, Smoking Bears here with you. I got a little something cool going on. I want to do some skitty squash meatballs. What? I know, right? Uh, you know, we've been eating kind of better and trying to cut out the starches and what the gluten and all that crap. Um, so, skitty squash, we mix it with the marinara sauce and we mix it, I'm going to put some meatballs in it. And it's going to be like a substitute for skitty. So, what I've done, let me, let me get you down here and check it out. All right, so what I've already done is, I, as you saw a minute ago, I had the, I had them, I halved them, cored them out with a spoon, did that to both skeddy squashes. Let me hit it with a little bit of spray butter. You know, whenever you have a shrimp bowl, you always have a little parquet left over. That's perfect opportunity to use this stuff here, you know. Uh, just, just give it a good little spray. You don't want to go too heavy. It doesn't matter really. You can put pats in there. You can spray it with olive oil. It'd be just as good too. Um, give it a little spray. Now I'm going to hit it with some Tony Sasseri's, uh salt free uh, Cajun seasoning. It's what I had up in the cupboard and again left over from the shrimp boil some time ago. And I don't want to go too heavy. I just want to do a real light coat. S SPG works fantastic. A little salt, pepper, and garlic works fantastic with this. But uh, I just want to kick it up a little bit, you know, and uh, wake us up a little. Uh, without it ain't up. I'm not going heavy in it, so when I blend it all in, it, you you'll get just a tad bit. It'll be dumbed down quite a bit. So, all right. All right, so now this will go into a 425 degree oven, and how long time? You know, I don't. I'm I'm terrible at time. Um, so what I do is when I put my fork, I put a fork in it after about 30 minutes or so. I check it. I put a fork in it, and if it pulls away clean, you know, like it starts shredding, then it's good. If not, it needs more time. Uh, like like barbecue and your meats. Each squash is different. You can't go a certain time every time because each one's different. They got different characteristics. They, 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 they got their own little personalities, I like to think. So whenever I stick my fork in them and I pulls away and shreds, like fish, you know how you know when, when fish is done, you pulls away flaky? That's what I'm looking for. I'll show you a little bit. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like when it's done. Um, you just pull it and it starts coming away from the edges across the bottom. See that? So I'm gonna let this cool before I handle it and scrape it all out. All right guys, so I've got, while the skitty squash is cooling, I got my Dutch oven, um, my lodge enamel. I had it sitting on the exhaust port of my oven. So it was kind of actually preheating. Um, so now I've got it on just a, um, just under a medium heat. Um, I'm gonna drop in some meatballs. They're frozen. And a jar of sauce. All right, so we got this going. They're cooking up pretty nice. Meatballs aren't quite, I mean, they're still sticking, so they're not quite there yet, but that's okay. Get your hot glove on because these things are still hot. Basically, what you're going to do is just start scrubbing it out, scraping it out. And you can do it into another pan or bowl or whatever, but if it falls apart like that, it's okay. Break it off and Clean her out. So I got them all in there. I'm um, just stirring it up to try to get get all the sauce covered, everything, and get everything incorporated well. So now it's really just going to be cooking it until the meatballs are done. And uh, once that happens, we'll do our taste test. All right, so here we are. We got to plate it up. The only thing that's missing is a little grated Parmesan cheese. 
Obviously put as much as or as little as you want on there. And then go for the taste test. You see it's kind of stringy. Mmm. Yeah, guys. Girls. You get a little bit of the crunch. Um, just a little crunch from the scatty squash. The, um... Mm. It's a good alternative, especially during the summer where, it's, where you want something light and not so much heavy stuff. I like it. Um, it's just a nice little healthier play on on um, Sketty. Sketty meatballs. That's smoking bears. Cheers. Everybody have a great, great week. And we will see you next time at the Bear Cave. Remember, a family that cooks together stays together. Have a great week.